Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we finished up the Tundran Territories campaign as we were able to drive the Tundrans from Frontier Land. However, the Bomber Squadron that was supposed to end the conflict never showed up and instead was replaced by the Exylvanians who decided to forsake an alliance between them and Tundra to attack both the nations while we were both weak, having fighting each other. Today, Instead of going to fight the Exylvanians in the Dune Sea, we're instead going to be going into the first bonus mission of the game in the Tundran Territories. So, let us go. Campaign 1 bonus. The Western Frontier has discovered the location of the Tundran's premier elite armored division. They have set a bat battalion into the region to strike a damaging blow against us. It's time to show them that the Tundran spear cannot be crushed so easily. Red alert, comrade commander. The Western Frontier has launched a fierce counterattack. Heavy tanks and gunships have been detected. We must prepare for combat. Your objective is to defeat the Western Frontier aggressors that are swarming into this sector. You don't got nothing but rusty old tractors and farm hands with pop guns. This is gonna be a cakewalk. I think not, General Hermon. Tundran resilience is famous the world over. Commander, your orders are to meet with the battalion that waits in the valley below and repel the enemy. Very well, Commander. Let us go, comrades. To victory for Tundra. So, it's something very interesting that Herman notes about the Tundran vehicles. Uh, he says that their troops are made of nothing but farm hands, which makes sense, but the fact that he says that their vehicles are nothing but rusty old tractors, which actually is true because, as you can notice with the Tundra and Heavy Tank that we're in command of, because you actually do get a good look at them, uh, most if not all the Tundra vehicles in the game have uh, a very farm theme to them. Uh-oh. Need to heal up before we lose our tank here in the first combat engagement, nonetheless. What happened to the other jerry can? I definitely didn't pick it up. Hmm. Oh well. But either way, uh, yeah, uh, all Tundran vehicles, or at least the ground vehicles to be exact, are made up of just repurposed farm equipment. Not gonna lie, this, this bonus mission hurts my soul because we have to fight against the Frontier. The Frontier is my favorite nation in the entire series, and uh, it just hurts seeing me have to just slaughter my boys. Commander, the enemy's airborne firepower is not to be underestimated. Frontier heavy tanks approaching. Engage and destroy. All right. Well, first things first, let's take care of this fling bed over here. I don't want them to harass our troops. All right. What is going on with that light tank over there? Oh, well. All right, so got command of our heavy tanks. We're going to leave you guys right here for now. We're going to take our tank battalion, and we're going to engage the frontier heavy tanks. Actually, you can see they're all scattered over there, so we want to be very careful. I might as well pull up the map here while we're at it, because we also do have a couple of frontier gunships in the area, so we need to be very careful of them. We have multiple objectives to take care of. We gotta take care of the heavy tanks. Surprisingly, the gunships are not an objective. There's a bunch of rifle grunts down here, which you don't really have to worry about. There's one that's out of bounds, so okay, apparently this guy's a wall. And we also gotta take care of the rifle grunts that my troops are already engaging. What is going on over here inside the fortress? Uh, pull the troops back. You guys doing apparently you're doing really well because you already took out a couple of frontier fronts all right just a little bit more oh nope there's still one more frontier grunt right here guys seriously he's right here he literally just ran past all of you 
What is going on? Where is the... Right, there he is. I'm sorry. I have no choice. Please forgive me, buddy. I'm gonna guess that other grunt probably just There's ran into the tanks. There's only one more frontier grunt in the fortress perimeter. Your radar will lead you directly to his location. Well, there's the... That is the last oh. of the enemy grunts. Herman will think twice before deploying more cannon fodder. Alright, so we're gonna leave our missile vets right here to engage any of the gunships that might fly by. We're actually gonna take our grunts, and I'm gonna take control of a light tank for this. We're gonna take our grunts, and we're gonna send them all the way down there. Oh, maybe you wanna light a fire. You're the one with the flamethrower. Alright, there we go. Alright, so our boys are gonna be on the move. They're gonna meet up with the battalion that's over there. As for the tanks, we're going to have them engage the Frontier Heavy Tanks over here and also draw their fire so they don't accidentally attack our grunts that are heading to the reinforcements. It's kind of ridiculous of how the Frontier Heavy Tanks are designed because they literally have a double-barreled heavy tank. Okay, guys, seriously, you might want to, you know, return fire. Oh boy, come on, let's get that jerry can. Very technology. Overwhelming Herman, nobody likes a showboat. Alright, just to finish them off easily, let's get, take control of our remaining heavy tanks. And we'll just all pick them off one after the other. And I'll call over my missiles as well, so, because I don't want those gunships to harass our heavy tanks. Locate the last remaining frontier tank using your radar, Comrade Commander. Have our missiles take care of the gunship overhead, just in case it decides to attack our boys. Hit him in the flank, and he is done for. Alright, seriously, missiles? There we go, jeez. And just because I feel like being cruel, I'll have our tanks go in and engage the grunts. Oh, I figured I would have sent these guys a lot further down this way. Now, so far, our vehicles are doing pretty good, aside from one that's taking some slight damage from what I believe to be the other gunship over there. Or maybe it's from the rifle grunts. We'll meet up with the boys over here. They're taking positions. I'm actually going to drop these guys off real quick because there's actually something to note about this. This is the level that actually has the most rifle grunts you can have under under your command in the entire game. You can have a grand total of 15 grunts uh, under your command. And I kind of wish that there was like m more like big engagements of just like uh, waves upon waves of grunts just clashing into each other. And I'm, I'm not just saying that because the grunts are my all-time favorite like unit type in the series. I think it might actually have more to do with uh, the little challenge run I did with this game, man. How's my tank soon? Ooh, he's taking some hits, but nothing too bad. Alright, take care of the bazooka vets. But yeah, uh, when I ever did the grunt-only challenge of this game, it actually, playing as a grunt, uh, completely, like, changed the experience. Like, not being in, in the command and behind the seat of a vehicle all the time, made the battles a lot more intense, and it was actually a lot of fun to try and pull off. In fact, some of the engagements made me have to think a little bit and strategize more. And I honestly recommend somebody, uh, if you're watching this and you have the game, definitely give that a shot. That is the end. Victory! Victory! Thanks to you, Commander. This sector remains in the hands of its rightful owners. Love the old victory dance Our these guys songs do. Of triumph will echo throughout the ages. Medals for all. Don't you just hate a bad winner? Don't you just hate a sore loser? 
Alright, aside from losing a couple tanks, our technique was still 100. I have no idea what's going on with technique and why it's being so merciful sometimes and then so punishing the others. Only thing that really hit us was the speed, which, eh, what can you do? But power and technique were both 100%, so that guaranteed us the S rank. Alright. With the campaign bonus mission finally done and over with, next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, it's time for the Frontier and Tundra to team up to take on the new enemy, Exylvania, in the Dune Sea in Beachhead. See you guys next time. Later. I can no longer feel my toes!